we're now entering an age where really what you need is, as a brand, uh, whether you're tiny, small shop, or Coca-Cola, is no different. <laughs> I learned some really good tips today on the social media side, some tools and techniques to grow an audience, uh, specifically an Instagram tool called Instagress that I heard about that I'm definitely going to have to check out. I think I think one of the big takeaways, one of the big tips is to make sure to, to always stay connected with your audience. Um, we talked about a lot of emerging technology today and a lot of new stuff, and it's easy to get hung up on these new and exciting things without really remembering that the cores of marketing, especially the cores of digital marketing, stay the same. And we have to focus on our audience. We have to build these into our content and inbound marketing strategies and figure out how everything uh, you know, sort of connects. Social media should span across all different areas of your organization. So a lot of people think that social media should just go in at one point and just be its own thing. The great tip was like really as an organization, have social media be part of every part of it, all the way down to HR and have your employees actually engaging with social media to further move your business forward. Well, I think just the way to, uh, from my peers as well, how to humanize a brand. Whether you are a Fortune 100 or a, a sort of an emerging, you know, smaller company, there are ways to use social media, which is sort of my, my love affair that I, I know a little bit about. Um, I'm just learning a lot more than I thought I knew. Um, and especially around humanizing your brand, which is a big dis discussion topic we had earlier. So that's been a big one. So I learned that Zach owns the largest motorcycle community on Facebook. That's one of the many things that his like digital one world studios does. Yeah. Two days ago, I had a conversation with a company called cycle gear, which is like all about gear and products for motorcycle enthusiasts. Wow. And when I had that conversation, I didn't have a partner on the creative side that was big enough to really do much and now I do and that's gonna something's gonna come of that um, from this conference which is really cool. One of the best tips I learned here today is that email has the capacity to send real-time location-based information. So someone gave the example of being on a business trip in New York opening up an email and seeing stores in New York flying back home to LA, opening up the same email and seeing stores from LA. So I learned that there are several different um, revenue buckets within your social stream and that it's important to always keep focusing on the different buckets. And so um, e-com na is now split into several different buckets and not just selling a thing through your website, but it's also driving um, affiliate links and driving other kinds of traffic through your social that can be monetized directly through different uh, platforms. Um, probably my favorite tip was marketing our own company. Um, we work so much with uh, the brands that we service, but we rarely have time to take a step back and think about what to do with ourselves. So today gave us a moment of pause to really dive in and do that and learn some great techniques for building our own um, awareness. You really have to think about making a distinction between data and then how you analyze data and turn it into information. So just kind of thinking through that process and talking through it with the panelists was really interesting and kind of a, a good takeaway for me and I, I think for other digital marketers as well. So it's just a matter of like, how do you put your resources together and define who you are and execute what you need uh, around the scope of the size of your company, if that makes sense. So.